Hello everybody, today we are going to start with a new lesson uh, which is a little bit different from the lessons that we have covered before. The title of this lesson is Tools of the Explorer's Trade. From the title we can tell that the lesson is telling uh, or is talking about uh, the tools or the machines that the explorers used to uh, use in order to discover new things. First of all, we are going to start with the essential question, which is how have tools used for exploration evolved over time? So how were these tools used to explore over time? There are many, uh, many, many tools used by explorers, such as telescopes, uh, maybe binoculars, many things used in order to uh you to to explore new things so how were these tools effective we are going to discover together throughout the lesson in these uh pictures we can see some of these tools such as the rockets the uh uh, the Dorn, and many things, binoculars, telescopes, all of these are tools used to discover new things and to explore new things, maybe in the marine life or in the outer space. We are going to start with the vocabulary words, which are very simple for this lesson. As we always do, we start reading the sentence and we try to uh, guess the meaning throughout the sentence. The instructions of raising a tent seemed easy, but their application was difficult. What other activities require the application of instructions? When you apply something, when you are trying to do something, this is what you mean by application. The mudslide was catastrophic for many towns in the area. If you look at the mudslide or this uh, picture, we can see that there is a disaster here. There, it, it, it is catastrophic. It's, it's disastrous. The third word is computations. The monitor progress they perform to monitor progress. They performed computations using the data collected. What is the tool commonly? used to perform computations. When you perform computations, it means you are using the computer to do something. Deploy, to ensure safe conditions during the event, the police chief deployed additional officers. He hired or he asked for additional officers. Elevating, one of the doctor's recommendations was elevating his leg while it is healed. As you can see, he is elevating or he is, um, he is lying down, let's say. Magnetic, of course, you all know what is a magnet. And because of its magnetic properties, a certain type of attract of uh, um, attracts objects containing iron. So this is what we mean by a magnet. Steam engine trains are now virtually obsolete. Obsolete is, um, obsolete is like they are virtually obsolete or they are virtually found, yani you can't find nowadays um, a steam engine. Subsequently, the stock was performing poorly, so we doubted it would subsequently improve. Subsequently means uh, step by step, okay? So these are the meaning, catastrophic, sudden, and disastrous. Application, the act of putting something to use. Computations, calculations that are determined by using mathematics. Deployed, strategically arranged or distributed for a specific purpose. Elevating, raising it to the higher position. Magnetic, draws iron, steel, and other metal objects toward it. Obsolete, uh, something that is out of date or no longer used, subsequently occurring or following time in time or order. The genre of the text is expository. We have explained this genre before and we have said when we say expository, it means informational. So when the text is expository, it means it is giving us information. This is our lesson and the title of our lesson, as we said, Tools of the Explorer's Trade. How uh, have tools used uh, for exploration evolved over time? So we have to read this selection um, in order to see how they helped a scientist. 
uh, of course as usual we are not going to read the whole text but as you can see there are subtitles here the north star is one of the tools the uh, astro label is one of the tools the, the sextant the compass all of these are tools that have been used by explorers to discover new things throughout the lesson throughout the live sessions we will discover more what was everyone used for and how um, everyone helped in exploring something new the comprehension skill for this lesson is the compare and contrast let's see what do we mean comparison to compare is and contrast is to show similarities and differences so when i say to compare it means i show points concerning two things so let's see what are the common points between oranges and bananas oranges and bananas the common points between them are you can, you can eat both of them they are both fruits you have to peel uh, off um, to peel both of them so you have to peel both of them in order to eat this is what do we uh, think about the similarities here we are comparing because we are talking about similarities contrast is to show what is different about two or more things let's see what is the difference between oranges and bananas oranges are orange bananas are yellow oranges are round bananas are long oranges have seeds bananas have no seeds so these are differences so in this case i am contrasting as you can see when we want to um compare and contrast we use something called a venn diagram okay a venn diagram is this thing that you can see here so uh you write the similarities and the differences you organize them and in the middle you put how are the two objects you are comparing and contrasting are alike and in the sides you write the differences between the two objects you are comparing as you can see here in the venn diagram here we wrote the similarities between and in the sides we wrote the differences how can i differentiate between similarities and differences in a text first of all you have to read the text well you have to compare the ideas see how are they alike how are they different use the venn diagram in order to organize your ideas and you have to look for clue words such as to compare like same as same as they have in common commonly similarly these words show you that there is a similarity here contrast is when you use contrast words like however differ unlike even though but yet instead and so so to review to sum up when we compare as i said is when we say the similarities when we mention the similarities when we contrast is when we mention the differences and we organize the ideas using a venn diagram of course we are going to explain everything in details through the live sessions